the video you have all been waiting for after like like two years i am not here to read your comments oh uh, my mattress is missing um don't ask guys you want to know something in this video that's really bothering me i'm sorry i had to mention this but like why is it me or my shirt my shoulder looks dirtier than my like why is it dirty compared to the rest of the shirt like how does the shoulder get dirty is it the video why is that happening i don't understand anymore pick me i never chat with the youtuber well you just got picked i got you homie what is the scariest game you have played scariest game i've ever played well i mean literally the two choices it's either between depart or my most recent one night security because that one if y'all haven't watched those videos like watch them please do you play multiplayer games like moba fps shooter mm porg rpg and such question mark honestly guys i i like to play games sometimes it's just hard to play a game by yourself if i really ever play a game i'm honestly just playing with my friends i play a lot of multiplayer games i wouldn't say i haven't played a fps shooter in a long time but i've played like phasmophobia i've played the outlast trials you know we did a collab with the deluxe that was also an awesome video go check that out too i have gta 5 on my pc um but i realized that it's not crossplay, so i literally haven't touched gta you know i'm gonna play some gta right now <laughs> hey but if there's any multiplayer games that you recommend let me know. What's my dream gaming setup? Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Dude, I got a story for you. Actually, no, I'm just kidding. Honestly, I don't necessarily have a dream setup per se. I mean, I feel like I like my setup how it is right now. Like, I don't need too much. Honestly, I'm just waiting until my lens comes for this camera. Again, guys, I'm using my iPhone for this. I mean, the quality is really good, but I really want to use this camera and see how it is. I like, I'm, I just want to use it so bad. But honestly, I don't really have a dream gaming setup. Am I getting paid from YouTube? <laughs> I don't know why that question was funny to me. If you guys don't know, in order to get revenue, because I, I, I don't want to use the word paid, in order to get revenue and start and be eligible to get money from YouTube, you need to get 1,000 subscribers and you need to get 4,000 public watch hours. I got 1,000 subscribers. I actually wasn't eligible to get money until like I was like at like, I don't know, 10,000 subscribers because I didn't get 4,000 public watch hours. Can you do a VR horror game like similar like that game? The only time I actually played a VR horror game, I have an Oculus, guys. I have an Oculus with me, but the only game if I remember that I actually did use a VR headset for my channel was I think I played Final Fantasy Freddy's Help Wanted. Like from there, guys, literally my PC setup was where this cupboard is, right? And then it, the camera was facing this way. It was facing towards this way over here. So this drawer, these cabinets were on this wall in the corner over there. And then, yeah. Greatest moment from every year in high school. Honestly, I do not know. There's been so many great moments. I mean, literally, I would say my senior year was my graduation vlog. Amazing video. 11th grade, honestly, that was the time where I started getting confident in my i guess my speaking and just for my personal mental health i guess freshman <laughs> guys i'm literally gonna find a picture when i was a freshman guys you're gonna be like say what if i'm gonna pull up a picture i feel like i know which picture i'm gonna pull up but if y'all want to see <laughs> look at this picture look at this picture you, th yes this right here that's me right there yeah my boy you were a I don't even know what to say about this. And then, of course, 10th grade, we had a quarantine. In my time, I, we had quarantine in 10th grade, so I didn't really have a great moment. I think that's actually when I, I started to exercise and actually started to develop, start developing my self-improvement. And uh, yeah. What's your plan after high school other than college, if you don't mind me asking? And what inspired you to start making videos? Hopefully, I can start my own channel one day just like you. <laughs> rawr, rawr. So I'm gonna go one by one. So plan after high school, other than college, if you don't mind me asking. So my plan after high school, I'm definitely gonna focus on, on this channel. Of course, I'm gonna go to college, but other than that, I wanna focus on this channel. You know, as you can see, guys, I've been uploading a little more consistently now because I really wanna take advantage of this summer. Of course, in college, I'm gonna join clubs. 
I'm still working on my martial arts stuff. I had a tournament recently. I want to get more skilled in my fighting when it comes to my martial arts. If you guys don't know, the martial arts that I take is Taekwondo. And honestly, the campus that I'm going to for college actually has Taekwondo. I was looking at, I was looking in these videos that like to go through the process of getting into college. And I saw their video. I saw like three seconds of these kids fighting. And, and literally, you can tell it was Taekwondo. So, or well, I could tell, you know, so it, that's pretty cool. What inspired me to make videos, man? I talk about this guy so often on my channel. I literally made a, a video about him. Guys, if you don't know this YouTuber, bro, like you have to watch him. This guy, there's something about his editing where I see other people's editing and there's a lot of editing in people's videos. But his, it just has this sort of vibe. Like something about it is just so awesome to see his editing and the games and his tone, his attitude. His community is awesome. And that is none other than Corey X Kenshin. Hey. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. My favorite is peach pie. Nobody asked, Willie. What's your favorite kind of pie? <laughs> this guy has literally was the guy that set just the whole motivation in my head to start a YouTube channel. Guys, literally go watch one of his videos and look what at one of mine's. You guys will see very, very interesting similarities. My style of editing got inspired off of his style. You know, I'm not saying I'm copying him. No, I'm not. I wouldn't, I wouldn't copy him, no. But the inspiration and the type of style of my editing came from him. You know what I mean? He's so funny and his energy is just so vibrant. And it really just wanted me to make videos so bad. And here I am right here making videos for you guys. Hopefully I can start my own channel one day just like you. Amen. Like, if you want to start that channel, bro, do it. Like, it's it's an interesting experience because I remember I was shy when I wanted to start my my YouTube channel. And I was always nervous, like, oh, man, I feel like everyone's going to judge me. Because you're playing a game and it's your own editing. So you just get to have a lot of opinions from a lot of different people. But honestly, dude, just do it. Like, it's just so fun that you get to edit your own videos I'm just a guy just like you, bro. Literally, if you want to do it, and so if you guys want to start your own channel, do it, bro. Like, that would make me so happy. And just, just go for it, dude. I fully support you, and I really hope that you do. It'll make me happy. How's life been? Are you excited for the future? Hex, yes, my guy. I am super excited for the future. I just, the only thing I'm nervous about, guys, is I want to manage my schedule in college in a way that I can do YouTube videos still during college. I really, really want to. And I'm just in my head imagining, I don't know how I'm gonna manage it yet. That's why I'm really taking advantage of summer just in case. But I hope when the time comes in September, when my semester starts, that I'm really gonna be prepared for college and YouTube. How does it feel this being your last year in high school? Again, this was in my prom vlog. So this was about like a month before I finished high school. And it's it's really crazy. Like again, you guys, you're gonna feel that feeling when it's your last year in high school. I went in depth of that, of that thought in the graduation vlogs. So if you wanna see that, I don't wanna take too long, go watch that vlog because I really explained everything there. It's it's an amazing feeling, but also like you're done. Like you're an adult now, basically. You know what I mean? So it's a crazy feeling. How did you come up with the username Flaming Bone? Oh my God, guys! Now, ser okay, I seriously have a story for you now. Let, let's take a little, little, little stroll. Get some popcorn. Get your, get your classic thingies. What did I just say? The origin of the name Flaming Bone. So I was on the bus. This was elementary school. This was, I think, in fourth grade. I got an Xbox 360 in fourth grade. And I needed to find out what my username should be. I was thinking in the bus, I was like, man, what what can I do? What do I want to do this? I was thinking, man, how do I want to make my name? What is something that will define me of who I am? Like literally, this is me in fourth grade, bro. It's just an Xbox username, bro. I thought this was like defining my whole identity. So what I did is, you know, kid topics. When I was in fourth grade, I was debating. I was like, hmm, what's better? Fire powers or ice powers? Because I remember I, I like I still do. I love Mortal Kombat. It's a video game. If y'all don't have that, if I, if I don't know what that is, I'm sorry. 
But I always thought of like Scorpion and Sub Zero. And then in my head, I always loved Scorpion. Like something about Scorpion, I always just loved about him. So in my head, I was like, okay, let's go with Fire. So that's when Flaming came, right? Bone. That's I think that's like an obvious one, guys. Bone is literally my last name. A lot of people be like, people will be taking that name. <laughs> people will be taking that name and just flipping it. <laughs> just flipping it so bad. They make that name. Like be like, yo, Bone. <laughs> I can't leave that in the video. I can't. I'm okay that out. I can't. If y'all know, y'all know, okay? But then, guys, my original name was not just Flaming Bone. There was numbers after Flaming Bone. And in that time, when I was in fourth grade, I thought to myself, what number should I add? And the root number, the number that my bus was, was 1605. And I was like, you know what? Sure. So the, my full, my Xbox username was Flaming Bone 1605. And I had that on my Xbox 360 for a while, right? And then come to my era, the Xbox One era. The era where it was revolu revolutionizing. I'm not sure if that's a word. I needed to come up with a new name. I feel like I needed to change it. I needed to change it to something. So I added, Flaming Bone stayed the same, but there is new numbers now. And that was Flaming Bone 1632. And you're probably asking like, dude, where did that, where did the 1632 come from? Okay, guys, I've really thought of this like hard about this username. So the one represents my age. The first digit of my double digit number of my age. So if I, I think in the time I was like, I think I was like 14 or something. I don't remember, but I took 14 and got the one from 14 and made that the first digit. Now my, my dad is in his sixties, you know, he's on the older side. And so I took the six from like, I forgot exactly what number 60, like 60 something. Right. But I took the six and I added the six right there. Right. And then, you know, my mom was in her thirties. So I took the three and put it three. And then my sister was in her twenties. So I took the two and put it in the two. So one, six for my dad, three for my mom and two for my sister. And then with more time passing, once I was like, you know what? I feel like I just want to make a brand. I don't want to add numbers. I want to have like a name, just one name. And that's when I took out the numbers and I just kept it as flaming bone. And here we are, flaming bone. And now you know the origin story. It's a crazy story. Like, I really thought hard about this. Like, literally, it's just a username. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna blur this out because literally there was this whole joke. I'm not even going to talk about it. This, this If you guys want to see the comment, look, at, go to the prom vlog and you're going to go to the comments or you're going to see this and you're going to be like, oh. <laughs> so, man, wants to know if you're going to pursue your volleyball career. I don't have a question. Just, man, wants to know that. Oh Lord. If you guys didn't know, I was in the volleyball team in my high school. It was very cool. It was so awesome to play in it. And I really was like dedicated to practicing to be like a good player. And in the volleyball team, there is a player called a libero where he has a different color than the rest of your team. And he's mostly focused on defense. So he would always be in the back of the court where he would be always trying to protect the ball at all costs. He's mainly defense guy. He doesn't hit across the net. He doesn't do any of that. He just mainly focuses on not letting that ball touch the floor. By the way, literally a lot of volleyball players are gonna hate me for this if you play volleyball because they'd be like, oh my God. But literally what inspired me to play volleyball was this. <laughs> I can already see the comments. Guys, watch this anime. Like, just, just watch it. Like, I'm being serious. Like, I saw this, I was like, holy smokes. I want to play some volleyball. Literally, I'm being serious. That's what motivated me to join the volleyball team. I'm not even kidding. But honestly, I wouldn't say a volleyball career. When I go to college, I feel like I'm gonna join like a volleyball club, honestly, because I feel like that would be really nice, but I don't think I'm gonna join a, a team where I'm gonna represent the school. Like I'm gonna go competitive volleyball. I'm probably just gonna join like a fun club volleyball because there's those are two different types of clubs. I'm probably just gonna do that, honestly. Do you think you will hit 50,000 subscribers in like two or three months? Now, honestly, guys, like it was from Amanda, at, uh, Amanda the Adventurer shorts, bro. Those shorts literally blew up big time. No, seriously, literally that carried 
my channel that that was the thing that increased my subscribers a lot and this was a month ago so honestly i'm gonna try my best so if it, this is two months like one month in so he's basically talking about will i reach fifty thousand by next month or in two months from now uh i want to try my best to do that you know i'm really dedicated trying to get to 50k imagine i get to 50k before i start college honestly that, that would be awesome like i'm really gonna try to work hard for that <laughs> wow that's a that's a passionate text right there. What's the funniest you've ever seen? Well, I wouldn't say I necessarily watched something that's like, oh yeah, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen. And no, I didn't actually swear, okay? But here's a funny video. Again, guys, there was a lot of comments on the videos, but I only really focused on the questions. Because of course there was comments that like, you know, that were talking about the video itself. They weren't necessarily relating to the Q&A video. And I want to thank everybody for being patient with my Q&A video. Again, I want to deeply apologize because I haven't, I didn't necessarily bring it to you guys in a good amount of time. If you guys enjoyed this, thank you so much. Literally the last common video that I did was literally like last year. And it's been so long. Look at this. I swear I look like a whole different person in every single video that I do. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed me answering these comments. I mean, like, you guys know a little bit more about me now. With more time passing, maybe we'll do a QA and a for 50,000 subscribers. And actually 50,000, not like three months after I hit 50,000. <laughs> but yes, guys, hope everyone enjoyed that. For the next Q&A video, I'm going to let you guys know which video to comment on. But that's going to be way in the future. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed that. You guys are so awesome. Thank you so much. And shout out to everybody that commented. And if you missed out and you couldn't comment, don't worry. We're going to have more Q&As to come. Thank you so much, guys. Stay awesome. Stay goaded. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.